still live on Joy News today. Now, she traveled from Kumasi to Accra more than a decade ago in search of greener pastures. She settled in the suburb of Nufadama, where she moved from house to house doing laundry for people to earn some money to take care of her two daughters. But after the outbreak of COVID-19, Adre Jewa is now out of a job as none of her clients will allow her into their home. PSA Nanaya Safo has gone to meet Adre Jewa and here's her story. Adre Jewa was one of the citizens who believed a partial lockdown in parts of the country was bad for business, although it was a necessary measure to prevent spread of a virus. Like many Ghanaians, she waited eagerly for the president's address on Sunday, 19th April, 2020. The banner was lifted. But a Jewa would face a hurdle. No client will admit her into their home. Everyone is being careful. The times are not good at all. I used to get paid for washing services just a few months ago. Even friends turn me away now. I can barely take care of my children. Customers say now they've resorted to using washing machines. I used to earn as much as 400 CDs or 600 CDs in a week. It was not always guaranteed, but it was relatively better. All those funds were used in purchasing more soup for washing, taking care of myself and my daughter's education, and the basic needs, including sanitary parts. She walks with me over to her sleeping place in New Fadama, a wooden structure sitting among a cluster of kiosks. The setup looks like it may cave in any time. Most of the room is covered with old dusty clothes, cast spare parts, and rusty metals. Ejewa shows me an old refrigerator in the corner on which her two daughters, Veronica, 18, and Juliana, 17, squeeze to sleep at night. When I asked about where she slept, she points at the ground. I usually sleep on a piece of plywood. Aha, uh -huh, there it is now. We sometimes take turns between sleeping on the old refrigerator and here. The structure has been home to a Jewa and her daughters for the past 12 years. It is originally a welder shop, but serves as home when the workers leave each day at about 7 p.m. Despite living in what appears to be poverty and abandonment by a husband a Jewa says never cared much for her anyway, she has been determined to work hard to take care of herself and her daughters. I want to be a banker. Veronica Kunedu is the first of Adjoi Jewa's daughters. She is a senior high school graduate brilliant from my engagement with her but had no idea what her wasi results were she had been blocked from accessing it due to her outstanding school fees this is marjorie bringing you the news today we have just received reports of major pandemic sweeping across the globe it is quite scary juliana the last child aspires to be a journalist someday. I would like the elders of my daughter to continue her education, but I cannot help her. I'm out of job now, with no financial backing as it is. It will be almost impossible to send the younger one back to school, even when the ban on schools is lifted. I'm not worried as much about where we sleep. I think I'm getting used to it. With mouths to feed, dreams to support, and barely nothing in her account, Adjoi Jiwa sits with a neighbor and the girls discussing life and its meaning somewhere in New Fadama. For her, life is not easy. Life with COVID-19 has been worse. Tomorrow is just another day, but what it comes with is unknown. PSC Nanayao Safo, Joy News. You're so live on Joy News today with me, Daniel Daze. Coming up, five shops in Kaneshi Market locked up by environmental health officers for non-compliance to COVID-19 preventive protocols. Details after the break.